Oh, I've had to go to doctors again. Uh, we, we're off on this stag do with some of my mates. We're going to 10 Bob Reef just for a weekend. Well, it'll be three days, a bit time we've done. Anyway, I haven't had an examination for ages now. I went to, I know they haven't got a lot of time for you, these doctors, and it's probably, probably not their fault, but uh, he, uh, he had a quick look. He said, you look all right, really. So I can't see much wrong with you. Uh, could be the drink. I said, I'll come back when you're sober then, shall I? Because I just like a laugh, me. No sense of humour doctors will have that. He said, right, if you're going to be like that, let me give you a good thorough going over. And he did. He went, he gave me a right good thorough, go I mean, and I mean a good thorough going over everything. He had me bent over the table with his, with his, and they don't even kiss you while they're doing it, do they? Anyway. He finished, he says, uh, he says, um, well, I think my initial diagnosis might have been a little bit uh, premature, Bobby. Um, what I suggest you do is stop smoking cigars, stop drinking, pack all that fatty food in and get some exercise done. And that came as a bit of a surprise to me, to be honest with me. So I thought, uh, right, starting tomorrow, I am getting a new doctor. That's like the element of surprise in comedy because you thought I was going to say I'm going to get some e exercise done and that. Anyway, I'm off to Tenerife, I don't care. I hope I've still got a bit, a bit of a problem, like, and uh, I'm living on my own now. And um, I don't... I don't, I don't, um, I don't like it, right? I can't cook. I mean, when it comes to timing my food and that, I usually rely on smoke alarm. But the big thing for me, <coughs> that went to wooden, wouldn't it? The big thing for me is like, and this is a word of warning to any other lads like me in this position, the Dyson ball cleaner is not exactly what it says on the box. I can tell you that. Oh, I've only got one more shot at getting that one right. This rabbit went into a pub, right, and they were hungry. And he said to the landlord, are you doing food? He said, yeah. He said, what are you doing? He said, well, we've just got toasties on today. He said, uh, what you got? Have you got ham and cheese? He said, yeah, he said, get me one of them then. And he had it, and he went back, he said, I'm still hungry. He said, you want another ham and cheese? Right? He said, no, what else have you got? He said, uh, we've got beef. He said, I'll have that then. And he had that, and he went back again. He said, I'm still hungry. Have you got any more toasters? He said, what do you want this time? He said, have you got chicken? He said, yeah, we've got chicken. And he had that, and anyway, he had it, and he fell down dead. And when he went up to heaven, he went up to St. Peter Rabbit, and it, Peter Rabbit said, what did you die of? He said, mixing me toasties. It's good, isn't it? It's about rabbits. This is the story of Androcles and the lion. Ages ago, in ancient Rome, it was 54 AD. And it's not from Sheffield, like AD, what they're doing. AD, it's the year. Anyway, Androcles was a slave and he escaped from Romans and he was were, were running away and he hid in this cave and when he got in this cave, he heard this <laughs> and it was a lion. And uh, he looked around and the lion was crying. I'm not going to do a lion crying because I don't know. Anyway, this lion, he got this thorn stuck in his paw and Androcles, being a good blow, like, he went over to him and very cautiously at first, he removed the thorn from this lion's paw. Anyway, years later, he got caught and he went in gladiator ring. The Romans had made him do it and he stood in gladiator ring, Androcles the slave, and this lion came out at him and this lion looked right into his eyes and it walked over to him slowly and it looked into his eyes and then it just, it just threw its arms up and smacked his head off and at him. It were a completely different lion. Is it too sad that? Shall I do another one? So, these two lions, right, they're walking down High Street in Doncaster. And one turns to the other and he says, 
There's not many people about for a bank holiday, is there? Have I just had an idea? <laughs>